the mortgagee has no right to benefit from the mortgage item in any case except for animals. So he must not reside in the house or use the car except by paying their fee. As for animals, however, one can benefit from them if he spends on them, as he has as has been mentioned in the last hadith. Example of a Rahna mortgaged item, a person gives a cow as a mortgage, and the mortgagee, i.e. the lender, starts milking it. In this case, we say that you can milk it according to the amount of nafaka, what he spent on it. One, if its milk costs a hundred a week and he spends the same amount on it weekly, then in this case he neither gets nor owes anything. Two, if the milk equals two hundred a week and the nafqa equals a hundred, then one has to pay a hundred to the mortgager. However, it becomes a form of mortgage because it is what the rahin yield. Three, if it is opposite, the nafqa is two hundred and the milk is worth one hundred, then in this case the mortgager now also owes the difference between the price of what the milk and which was spent on the cow. Abdaman guaranteeing a right on behalf of the one whom it is due. Al Kafala guaranteeing to bring the one liable for financial right to where judgment will take place. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in the meaning of which Az Zaim Ghadim the guarantor is liable, reported by Tirmidhi and Ibn Majah. Therefore both of them are guarantors, except in the following cases. One, they fulfill what they are obliged to do. Two, the one who is owed the right absolves it. Three, the one in debt is freed from its obligation and Allah knows best.